don't mess with this contentious guy, because as soon as he finds out who didn't like his post, that person's head will be mercilessly sent northwest by him. Seeing all the stunned students in front of him wetting their pants from fear, the contentious guy who hid a knife in the school showed an evil smile. The disbelieving classmate took advantage of him turning around and turned their head to run, but their head exploded before they could even open the door. Just when everyone was so scared that they dared not move, the class bully suddenly made a breakthrough. Turns out, as long as the button is pressed before time runs out, this death game would end, and at this time there was only a little more than a minute left in the countdown, and once time stopped, everyone had to go meet Hades. A daring student wanted to rush forward and end this, but they suddenly turned into worthless pigs on the spot, and with classmates screaming in terror, seeing there was less than an hour left, restless classmates one after another came forward to sacrifice themselves, and without exception, they all ended up at the Yellow Spring. As the classmates consecutively step up to the plate, making it difficult for anyone to make Yutian step on his shoulder, jump over and press the button, you can see Yutian's eyebrows rushing straight up. That dashing personality is simply like your current expression. In order to let you see clearly how he flies, the director deliberately slowed down the footage by a thousand times. Fortunately, in the last second, Yutian successfully pressed the button. Hearing the announcer declare the end of the game, the bespectacled man excitedly gave Yutian a thumbs up, but before Yutian could respond, the bespectacled man's head exploded on the spot. It turns out that only those who pressed the button could survive. Yutian, who survived, thought that all his schoolmates were dead and was in such a hurry to escape from the classroom, only to run into his beloved goddess Cauliflower at the door. Clever Yutian wanted to call the police, but they were trapped in a rectangular space and the communication equipment was completely useless. The two ran all the way to the basketball court, only to find all survivors gathered there, some even wore clothes that seemed rat-infested. Just as the two of them were filled with doubts, the floor suddenly began to collapse, followed by a strong ox-like lucky cat rising from the ground. This beckoning cat that resembles a small tiger is not an ordinary person, because every time it wakes up the first thing it does is to catch mice and eat. But the mice it eats are not ordinary mice, it is the huge living people dressed in magical rat costumes. Although this cute beckoning cat is terrifying, it won't harm anyone without reason. It is said that as long as you watch the video, like, and follow it, it will naturally not harm a single hair on you, otherwise even if the Lord of Hell comes, he cannot save you. Just when everyone was shocked and scattered, a bell suddenly rolled in front of Cauliflower. A one-level game could end. A student who thought he was a basketball master stepped forward, just saw him confidently throw the bell, seeing the bell about to fall into the basket. Unexpectedly, it was easily caught by the beckoning cat who had just regained consciousness. This operation frightened the slam dunk master into freezing in place for an instant followed by a Rasengan directly knocking him 10 meters away. Then another Tarzan crushed. The two unlucky ghosts instantly ate a hot box lunch. At this time, Clever Ota suddenly found out about the cat. Apparently, the cat only hurt people in mouse costumes. Sure enough, when everyone took off their mouse costumes, the cat really stopped the attack. But just when everyone thought the danger was over, suddenly, a girl was swallowed instantly. They realized the cat had been killing until its eyes turned red. Mita was looking at the bell on the ground and come up with a good plan, just to see him ask Cauliflower to hold the bell to trick the cat, because it couldn't tell which hand the real bell was in. After Cauliflower's bell was thrown, the cat decisively slapped it away. At this time, Mita took the opportunity to throw the basketball, and he thought he was going to succeed, but he didn't expect the bell to be a little off. Fortunately, at this moment, the bully pheasant popped out from the top of the cat's head. He grabbed the basket with one hand, and the bell with the other, and successfully completed the dunk at the last second as the cat spat out a cloud of smoke. In the end, only three out of the hundreds of classmates survived. Do you dare to play a game of riddles with these puppeteers? If you guess wrong, he will shoot a laser to control you, and then manipulate you to keep bowing to the ground. No matter how much you're hurt and bleeding, he won't show mercy. Initially, the schoolboy thought he was rather good, but when the puppet finished singing and asked him who was behind him, the schoolboy answered that it was Kumi. This answer was clearly incorrect and then he was controlled by the four dolls and bowed to the ground, directly knocking himself out alive, and Auntie and Cauliflower was absolutely terrified. The clever Ota had no choice but to step forward and participate in his place, and with Ota blindfolded, his nightmare was about to begin. But to the puppet's surprise, Ota had the main character's aura and simply couldn't be killed. As the music stopped, Ota immediately spoke the correct answer. Turns out, that sentence from earlier had come to good use. It was secretly recorded by the protagonist. The goal was to provoke the puppet to make a sound, and then according to the puppet's position, accurately deduce who the puppet was mimicking. The puppet, fooled by the trick, was so angry that it exploded on the spot. The surviving few then came to the next level, catching sight of a large white bear carrying a salted fish on its back. The rules of this level are very simple. As long as everyone tells the truth, the game can end, and if someone lies, they will receive a boxed lunch. The first question is quite simple. Do you like every video you watch? Everyone unanimously said they did, but the big white bear suddenly got angry. It roared loudly that someone was lying, stating that if it couldn't find the liar, everyone would be sent packing. At this point, Ota received a little note from the director. Turns out, the big white bear was the one telling lies all along. It wasn't a big white bear at all, but a big black bear as black as night. 